So, you know how when you're at work, you think about all the things you're going to do when you get home? Oh, I'm going to clean up. I'm going to take some time to read. I'm going to watch a movie I haven't watched in a long time. I'm going to get laundry done. You make these lists of all sorts of things you want to get done. But then when you get home, you don't actually do any of those things. But those thoughts kind of get you through your day at work. And I thought, you know, to avoid falling into that trap, what if I made the goal that I'm not going to go home right away? So I might not get these household chores or hobbies done, but I'll do something that at least makes me feel better. Makes me feel good. Good, good, good. So, I don't know what that is. But I thought, you know, just take that time for yourself. And that's enough. That is all I need to do today. So. That's what we're going to do. We'll find something to do. As there is always something to do in Night City. But I know that if I just went home, I wouldn't do any of those things. I would just lay on the couch, flip through my phone, and at the end of the night, feel like, yeah, I didn't do anything. And then that will just affect tomorrow. So, we're just going to play it by ear and see what happens. But yeah, I know. It's tough to like find time. Oh, whoops. Okay, wow. I am so sorry. Hey, do you want to exchange information? I just... What was that? Hello, ma'am? Okay, well... She's just ignored me, so... We'll just leave? That was weird. <laughs> well, we're off to a great start so far. But yeah, what I was saying is, you know, it can be hard to kind of find the time to do the things you want or the things that you know, need to get done, you know, laundry, grocery shopping, etc. It feels like we dedicate so much time to work, and then when it's done, you don't want to do anything, you just want to relax. You want to get your mind off something. 
So I think it's important to take that time. I know for me, work is stressful because it feels like it never ends. Just when you clock in till you clock out, you know, that's your life for eight hours. That's all you can do. Which, obviously, that's a job. I know, but I think lately it's been so work focused, work, 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 and not enough time to, you know, to live. You know, again, I make these plans for after work, and then I don't do them. Or I do them in small quantities. But it's been a long time since I've actually just, you know, gotten outside the house and explored the city around me. I used to love just getting out, going for a walk with no real plan. So that's what I'm doing tonight. It's a weekday night. You know, and in the past that would mean, oh, well, as long as I'm home by nine o'clock. And that's fine, but it also kind of limits you. You know, you feel like you can't just go and do anything kind of on this set schedule for yourself so I think it's important to just for me for just to return to doing the things that I love and uh, I've been feeling that way for the last couple months. Oh. And so I'm really trying to get better at making sure that I'm doing something for my happiness and uh, something that soothes my soul. Here we are, out about, just going to walk around, and that's it, because that is what brings me joy, helps me to Calm down and relax, 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 relax. relax. I've been stressed about work too because I have those questions of is this all there is? Is there more? And the idea of starting a new career, that's scary, if I'm being honest. And 
it's still something I'm processing, thinking about, entertaining, whatever the word is. There's many factors to all of this. The other stressful part would be, could I find something that pays equal or more, you know? Because the cost of living just keeps going up and up and up and up. So. I think it's good to acknowledge this, to question it, take the time to put some thought into it, but careful to not overthink it, to not let it add more stress or not to intensify the stress that you already have. I know it sounds so cheesy, but life is about that balance, isn't it? Because really, fear is a survival tool that we as humans use to help us survive. Our body is always trying to survive. If we were only in survival mode, that can get us to a tunnel vision sort of life where you're not taking that time to look around and take the scenery in to smell the roses, even though in Night City the only roses are artificial, but nevertheless the scent is just as real, isn't it? Your body thinks so, so why not accept it? inside my head again for a second. Just what I need to do is just let my shoulders drop. Take that breath. I've heard that breathing is so good for you if you take the time to focus on it and allow it to bring you back down, to recenter yourself, recalibrate. And 
get rid of that stress. And then, I think the other thing is, like I said, the last couple of months, it's been work, 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 and not taking that time for myself, but also, I haven't been great at connecting with my friends and my family. And I don't want to say taking it for granted, because that's not it, but I think sometimes it's just easy to lose track of time, say, oh, well, we didn't hang out this week, we can see him next week. Oh, can't go to this thing tonight. Maybe this weekend. But then, you know, it just keeps building up. And you keep pushing it back. And you push it back, and then you push them away. You drift apart that way. So. I think that's what I'm starting to realize is that I need to do a better job of checking it and being the friend that I want to be to them. gotta say, this is already pretty nice. There is something about Night City. Everyone says it, you know, there's this energy, this pulse that goes through the city. It just feels like Everyone is on a grind. And some of us, we get too caught up in that grind. Others thrive in that kind of headspace. You know, everyone experiences life differently. So, I think it's important to have those conversations with yourself and to find the balance for yourself. And I know I struggle with that. Well, what should I do? Who should I be? What should I think? Rather than just doing it, taking action, you know, it's so easy to have an idea, to have a dream, to make a goal. The hard part is believing in yourself enough to pursue that. And I know, for me, it's not automatic by any means, 
definitely not. You have to take that time to think for yourself. To move forward and to take that first step. Because that's the hardest one. But then one step leads into another, leads to another, to another, to another, to another. And it gets you across the street. And it will get you to where you want to go. It's about being brave, even when you don't feel brave. Maybe even especially when you don't feel Because you may have a great support system, or you may have no one. You have to do it for yourself. And I don't care if this is corny or cheesy. You have to love yourself. That's not weakness. That's not being soft. It's not weird. It's normal. 100% normal to want to be the best version of yourself. So, do it. It's always easier said than done. I know that. And I remind myself of it too. Things that seem hard now, it'll get better. It'll get easier. And if not, as long as you keep bringing strength to what you do, you can overcome it. You can handle it. Maybe the problems won't go away right away. Sometimes things take time. You know, there are some things in life that you want to do that you want that immediate gratification. You want it done here, now. So you can stop worrying about it. Stop having to overthink about it. You just want it done. But of course. Life isn't like that. You have to work for it. And to a degree. You have to be patient. Now that doesn't mean sit back and hope that it comes to you, because it won't. Trust me, if it would, 
I'd be a millionaire right now. So, whatever the small steps, the small tasks that you need to set for yourself, and maybe you're afraid, that's the time to take action. Everyone experiences fear. And the people that have inspired me have always had that. Because you don't want to fail, you want to succeed. And that makes total sense. But really, Failure is an important part of life. I mean, think about how many times it took you to make that perfect meal you like serving. Odds are you didn't get the recipe right the first time. It probably took you a few attempts to get it right. Oh, you added too much of one thing, not enough of the other. You completely forgot an ingredient. You left it too long, not long enough. And the discovery of that and finding out what the answers are led you to being able to do it right. And then from there, you've built that confidence that, yeah, you can make it like that consistently. And maybe you do that for a little while till you really get it right. And then you want to spice it up. You want to add something new. And now that you know how to make it right, well, maybe you can add something to improve it. And so you try. But whoops, that didn't work either. So now you're trying to figure out, well, how do I make that work? I made the original work. How can I make it work? And how you do that is by learning from your mistakes and your failures because it seems that we as humans constantly need to be reminded that failure doesn't mean that you are a failure and it doesn't mean that you're incapable or unworthy or anything like that. It's just a misstep, a miscalculation, a bad decision. But don't allow it. To have power over you. you know, own it. Own that failure. 
and take those lessons with you. Because maybe it's something where you failed in this category and now you're trying something completely new that may not be directly related or even related at all but your thought process and your problem solving from that experience leads you to you know that groundbreaking thought for yourself that aha moment so I challenge you to what I challenge myself and that is to embrace failure because Are stronger than you know. You got this. You are capable and worthy. I believe in you. You need to love yourself the way you love others and I know that that goes for me as well and I'm trying So, again, take those steps, you know, believe in yourself, believe in yourself, believe in yourself, and love yourself the way you love others. That sort of self-love won't come overnight. You have to wait, wait, wait. But you also have to put the work in. Set those reminders for yourself. Be patient with yourself. Be kind to yourself. There's nothing, nothing that you can't do if you apply yourself. So. Remember to be well to others and be kind.